Marxist theories of the family. Marxism is a conflict theory. It sees all society and institutions, such as the education system, the media, religion, and the state as helping to maintain class inequality and capitalism. Marxist views of the family follow logically from Marxist theory. If, for example, the family provides emotional support for workers, then this helps them to accept the injustice of the capitalist system. Many sociologists reject this view of capitalism and, as a result, reject the Marxist view of the family. The monogamous nuclear family originated, according to Marxists, from the inheritance of private property. Men need to be sure that they would have legitimate heirs. It is based on the supremacy of the man, the express purpose being to produce children of undisputed paternity, Friedrich Engels. Before, humans lived in, lived in primitive com, uh, communism. Kathleen Goff, an anthropologist, supports this by saying that chimpanzees live in a promiscuous horde and are similar to humans. Engels published his work on the family, The Origin of the Family of the State. Marx's friend Engels wrote a lot about the family. He argued that as capitalists became rich, they needed to ensure they passed the property on to the firstborn son. The nuclear family is, uh, and monogamous relationships were an attempt to control women's sexual behaviour. Criticisms of Marxism. Feminists argue that Marxist emphasis on social class and capitalism is bad for gender inequalities in the family. They say the family serves men better than women and uh, that this is different and distinct from class inequality. Functionalists argue that Marxists ignore what the family life should be about. So good families provide intimacy and mutual support and in a sense are similar to the Marxist ideal for society.